good to see you, John, and some spectacular scenes, stunts, deaths there. Absolutely extraordinary. How Absolutely is this extraordinary. one going to compare? Because this is one a night we're kind of getting where this is leading to. This is extraordinary. It's the biggest thing we've ever done. In yeah. the 43 years that Amadeo has been on, this is the biggest thing we've ever done. And uh, we're very, very proud of it. It's, 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 it we've made a film. We've made a movie. Yeah. Well, yeah. actually, you had probably kind of movie stunt people helping you. Absolutely, or... yes. A firm called Bickers who do all the t uh, stunts for James Bond films and things like that. And they said it's the biggest stunt they've ever done for television. Yeah, but we don't know what happens because no. no. every episode starts with the end, flashes back. We don't know who's in the ground <laughs> yeah. being buried. Yeah. And yeah. we don't even know if it's you or not. No, and I'm not telling. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. When are we going to find out? You'll find out on Friday. You'll have to watch. Well, it's a big denouement. Yeah, yeah. it Can is. And it's and absolutely right towards the end, at the end, the very, very end of the, the, the last episode on Friday, that's when you find out. Can wow. you tell if it's, if it's more than one character who'll be going? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> are you being Trying. pestered everywhere you go? Yes. <laughs> I, 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 look, I'm, I'm, I'm acting on behalf of people like me. I don't read the back of a book. I just need yeah. to be told it's good. Yeah. I, yeah. I just yeah. look yeah. at, you know, the reviews of a film. This outstanding film, this, you know, breakthrough in cinematic... And, right, fine, that'll do me. Yeah. You know, five stars, yeah, well, And it's going me. to end up being the highest viewing figures I think Emmerdale's ever had or something, isn't it? It's well, I hope so. I hope so. It deserves it. It does. We're yeah. very good. That's, yeah. that's what is so good about Emmerdale, you know. And when I was oh, there... Oh, yes, you two were... Yeah, 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 yeah. He married me. <laughs> 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 yes. Which is why I don't want Paddy to be killed this week either. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's true. You know, I always remember like Emmerdale was like always classed as the third soap. You know, yeah. he sort of went East Enders and Corrie always at the top, and Emmerdale number three. Yeah. And it's not. It's well up there. It's well know, up it's, there. I mean, and that's how it should be. We, we work in a very conservative yeah. in industry. It takes a long time to make people uh, change their mind about a show. Yeah. And Emmerdale has had this overhang of it started as a lunchtime show. Yes. Mm. And people still view it. Some people still view it as that. <laughs> it absolutely is not. No. Absolutely. No. Yeah. But also, on, on, on top of this storyline, mm. the, the, the long-running storyline with, with Ashley has been that he's suffering from dementia, yeah. of course. Yeah. Um, how did you feel when they told you about that storyline coming up? Well, it's uh, just over two years now since uh, Kate Oates, who was our producer at the time, took me into her office and pitched this story to me. And she said, look, you probably want time to think about it, John, because this will obviously mean you leaving the show, mm. which is sad. And I said, no, well, no, I don't need to think about this at all. I recognise this for what it is. It's the best story that anyone has ever given me as an actor. Really? But it's after that I then I started doing the research, and I, then I started to realise the responsibility of doing this. Mm. Yeah. Because uh, the Alzheimer's Society tell me there are 850,000 people diagnosed with dementia at the moment. Every family who has dementia, you know, who's, who's experienced dementia, you have those moments that are so heartbreaking. Yeah. When somebody, for me, it was when my dad didn't know who I was anymore. Yes. And I think you've portrayed it brilliantly. And we were talking earlier about saying, thank goodness for soaps now, because they really are tackling these kind of issues. Yes. Well, it, it started in it the properly. Archers when Jack Archer had That's dementia right. Right. and it went through uh, the whole... It went on for months and months and months. It and did, yeah. and it, that was the first time, I think, in a soap yeah. that it really brought it home to people and a lot of the Archers' audience would have, for yeah. the first mm -hmm. time, realised the person they were living with might be in life. Exactly. Up. And also, you see, the great thing about a soap is that because we're so familiar with the character, we've known them, I mean, my character, we've known him for 20 yeah. years, so you see... The, the, the deterioration yeah. of the characters yeah. straight away. I mean, I, when I visited various homes, there's one in particular called Glen Rosa in Ilkley, and I took Charlotte there, who plays Laurel, uh, once, and she was wondering if it's going to be upsetting. I said, well, not for us, because we're, we're seeing these people as they are. Yeah. Yeah. What's upsetting is knowing them as they were. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. And, of course, we know Ashley as he was, yeah. so it's upsetting to see Yeah, him but Ashley's is. at the point as well where mm. he knows where he was too. Mm. He can feel it happening, and occasionally yeah. a moment like that he suddenly realises what is happening. Well, it's particularly the case, apparently, with, uh, um, with uh, stroke-related vascular dementia, which is the condition I have. You have these moments of lucidity yeah. where you absolutely know what is happening. Yeah. Yeah. And I spoke to one nurse, and she, could, she said that she describes them as the tortured. For that yeah. reason. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, as I said, uh, you know, we don't want to be too gloomy about it. Was we, you no. are doing a wonderful yeah. job. It's very exciting, Emmerdale, this week. Uh, as we said, each night there's, we're getting a bit closer to knowing what's going to happen. It all comes, happens on Friday, we yes, find out. Yes, it does Yeah, indeed. I'm looking um, for any bodily clues. And there's t two episodes tonight, one at seven yes. and one at eight, eight o'clock. Yeah. Well, we'll oh. watch with interest. Thank yeah. you very much. John Middleton. <laughs> We get some pretty fabulous guests here on Loose Women. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click here.
to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really.